Welcome back to Combat Mission, where we're going to take a look at suppression. What is it? How does it work in Combat Mission? And what's the best way to suppress the enemy? As usual, this is game engine stuff, so although the footage in this video is from Combat Mission Red Thunder, it applies to all the Combat Mission titles. Pixel Trippin', like people, generally don't want to die, and are not very happy when they're getting shot at. If the threat of imminent death becomes too much, they will stop moving and fighting and start taking cover or cowering. They will become suppressed. Suppression is a tactical keystone. An enemy soldier who is suppressed and forced to keep his head down has greatly reduced situational awareness and is unable to use his weapon effectively, meaning that friendly soldiers can operate with reduced risk. In combat mission you can see the suppression level of your own troops by looking at the suppression meter in the bottom left of the UI. This fills up and changes from green to red as your troops become increasingly suppressed. At the bottom of the meter, your troops are not particularly concerned and can carry out their orders normally. If the meter maxes out, they may become pinned, in which case they think it's too dangerous to move or do anything. In between these extremes, the Takei for the unit might decide that it needs to stop and take cover, or find somewhere else to be, or it might try and speed up to get to its next waypoint faster. This all depends on the types of orders the troops have, their motivation and skill levels, and the intensity and effectiveness of the incoming fire. Vehicle crews can be suppressed, especially if they take casualties or suffer penetrating hits, which may also lead to changes in Takei behaviour. You can't see the suppression meter for enemy units, but by examining them and seeing if they are moving, returning fire or cowering, you can usually get a good impression of how suppressed they are. It's also worth noting that suppression is calculated for each soldier, but the suppression meter shows the average level of suppression for the whole team or squad. So soldiers in the same unit can have varying levels of suppression. That's how suppression is represented. How do we actually cause it? If we have a German sniper fire on some Soviet submachine gunners, we can see that individual shots don't register very much on the suppression meter. Single bullets cracking past at long intervals register as a low threat to the team as a whole, though they might cause the intended recipient to cower. But if the sniper scores a hit and causes a casualty, the suppression meter jumps any fire that causes casualties registers as a high threat and inflicts significant suppression. If we let the submachine gunners fire back, however, we can see that the sniper quickly becomes suppressed, even though he's not hit. So, in terms of small arms at least, we have two factors that influence suppression. The accuracy of incoming fire and the volume of incoming fire. These are obviously closely related. Accuracy by volume is not to be scoffed at when you're on the receiving end. Moving up from small arms, obviously the greater the threat of the incoming fire, the more suppressive effect it has. Dropping a single shell on the enemy is likely to make them duck a bit. Giving them the good news from a battery of Katushias is going to make them stop and adopt the fetal position until the sky stops falling on them. Suppression is, however, temporary. If the source of the suppression is removed, then the suppression meter will drop and suppressed soldiers will stop cowering and resume acting normally. This means that synchronizing actions on the battlefield is critical. Suppression is not an end in and of itself, it's an enabler. Suppressing the enemy for two minutes means you've expended a lot of ammunition and inflicted a few casualties. Suppressing the enemy for two minutes to pin them in place and keep their heads down while another unit gets into position to destroy them is tactically significant. So that is a quick overview of suppression in combat mission. Hope you found that interesting and useful. I'll catch you in the next video.